to mark the grand finale of the Lagos at 50 celebrations. The Lagos State Government held an anniversary ball at the Lagos House in Keja on the 27th of May 2017. Lagos is indeed no man's land. It's a place that offers to all the chance to succeed in various endeavors. This fact was proven as the event witnessed a huge turnout of dignitaries who came from as far afield as all parts of the country and beyond, traversing religion, politics, ethnic, and ideological backgrounds. Dignitaries of the event include acting president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, GCON, the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akumi Ambodi, who was a host was supported by his wife, the First Lady, Mrs. Bolanle Ambode. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Idiot Ulunotia Debule. The Speaker, Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable Muda Shiro Obasa, among others. The event, which was in celebration of Lagos State's past successes and achievements in the past 50 years, had in attendance a sizable number of people who had contributed immensely and labored to make Lagos what it is today. They include past governors of Lagos State. Brigadier General Mubola G. Johnson retired, who was the very first governor of Lagos State. Rear Admiral Ndubisi Kano retired. Commodore Ebitu Kiwe retired, who was also a Chief of General Staff of Nigeria. Elijah Latif Jakonde and wife. Retired Brigadier General Raja Rasaki and wife. Prince Olagunsoe Oinola and wife. Brigadier General Mohammed Buba Marwa and wife. Sir Michael Agboladi Otedola, also represented by his wife, and Ashuaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Also in attendance are uh, serving and past governors, among whom are the governors of Ogun State, Senator Bikunle Emesu, Mr. Godwin of Basaki of Edo State, Senator Abiola Jumobi of Oyo State, Oweli Rochas Okorocha of Imo State, Dr. Ibrahim Hassan Damkwambu of Gumbe State, Mr. Ayo Fayoshe, Governor of Ekiti State, former Military Governor of Undo State, Chief Bode George, former Governor of Oshun State, Chief Adebisi Akonde, and the Deputy Governor of Oshun State, Otumba Grace Lawi Tomari, who represented Governor Ralph Aregbeshola of Oshun State. Also on the list of the very rich attendees are Chairman Fort Oil, Mr. Femi Otedola, President Dangote Group, Alhajaliko Dangote GCON, Senator Musli Obanikoro, Mr. Jimmy Agbaje, as well as members of the National and State Assemblies, especially Lagos State House of Assembly. Also there to honor Lagos State were members of the judiciary. The traditional institution of Lagos State was led by the Oba of Lagos, Oba Real One, Akulu I. Also in attendance was the Anyogbure of Ikurudu Land, Oba Kabiru Shotobi. The man of the moment, the Golden Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akumi Ambodi, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, in his remarks, said he regards it a rare opportunity that the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Lagos State is coming during his tenure as Governor of the State. He added that he was only four years of age when Lagos was created, and little did he know that he would become the Governor of Lagos State as Lagos celebrates at 50. Mr. Kumi Ambodi said that the patriotic spirit, sense of fulfillment, and devotion of Lagosians, using their God-given talents to develop Lagos, is the main reason for her successes in the past 50 years, and this should be a collective glory of all Lagosians. Mr. Kumi Ambodi thanked the founding fathers, past administrators, and leaders of Lagos State for laying a solid foundation for Lagos State, which is building upon. The governor, who was visibly overwhelmed by the occasion, composed a praise poetry for Lagos. The poem eulogizes Lagos as a land of opportunities where fortune favors the brave. I am attempted here to put down a praise poetry for Lagos, what you can refer to as Oriki in cultural parents. So my other excellencies from other states you permit me to just romance a little bit about Lagos. Lagos, the smallest, the richest, the oldest, untouched or divided since creation, most populous, most prosperous, most cosmopolitan, 
a state with vibrant energy and its unique soul. The governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kumi Ambody, in rounding off his remarks, Governor Kumi Ambody urged Lagosians not to relent in their service to the state, as Lagos can only be more productive by the collaborative efforts of the government and its people. He admonished Lagosians to make the next 50 years memorable and worthy of a bigger celebration. Fellow Lagosians, the vision for the future is very clear. We foresee a smart city much more in line with the other great cities in the world. Where clean and decent living, seamless and efficient transportation, as well as sustainable environmental, environmental practices are the norm rather than the exception. The excellencies, I join millions of Lagosians to appreciate and commend our past governors, 13 of them, for their selfless service to the state and the nation. I want to sincerely wish Mr. President Muhammad Buhari a quick recovery. We all know about his love for Lagos and undoubtedly will have been here if he was around. To the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibai, your contributions to the growth and development of Lagos State are legendary. To demonstrate this, you flew in from Italy just an hour ago to be with us tonight. Thank you so much for your service. The event also featured presentation of various books which document the historical perspective of Lagos. The book was launched by Governor Kumi Ambodi. The acting president of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, senior advocate of Nigeria GCON, in his keynote address said, Lagos is undisputedly the commercial nerve center of Nigeria, which leads in many ways. Professor Yemi Oshimbajo said that Lagos is successful because it accepts everyone, in particular anyone who has an idea, a dream and determination. Being the foremost migrant community in Nigeria, it has achieved a steady but sure economic upturn, like the world wealthiest country, the United States of America, which likewise welcomes diverse talents from everywhere in the world, which is one of the key factors of our economic growth. Professor Yemi Oshimbajo congratulated the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kiyomi Ambodi, and the people of Lagos State for its 50 years of significant landmark. Lagos is the heartbeat of Nigeria in more ways than one. It is, Lagos in many ways leads in what Nigeria must be. First, it is the undisputed commercial center of Nigeria. Over 60%, and some say 70% of business is here, business in Nigeria. Very recently, the FIRS, that's the Federal Inland Revenue Service, led of course by Tunde Fowler of Lagos, released an important statistic said that there are 914 Nigerians who pay self-assessed tax of over 10 million naira. Only 914 Nigerians pay self-assessed tax of over 10 million naira. Of that 914, 912 are from Lagos. The other two are from Mobile State. None from anywhere else. This is self-assessed tax. I'm talking about not uh, PAYE that's taken out of salaries. These are individuals, businessmen, and women who pay taxes. Why is Lagos so successful? And I think Governor Ambode put his finger on it, Lagos accepts everyone. Afterwards was the cutting of the 50th anniversary cake to officially mark Lagos at 50. The governor, Mr. Kumi Ambody, his wife, the first lady, Mrs. Bolanli Ambody, and others like Oba of Lagos, Oba Rilwan Akuli I, and past governors of Lagos State were in attendance. Five. Forty. Forty. 
There was a long drawn out session of video and photo sessions as different groups and sectors took turns to take pictures with the governor, Mr. Akumi Ambode, his wife, Mrs. Bolanle Ambode. Honorable Habib Fasiro, co chairman, Lagos at 50 celebration in the vote of thanks, expressed the gratitude of the committee to all who participated in the Lagos at 50 celebration, adding that not only has it been a very great occasion, but has also been informative and educating as the past 50 days of celebration has been a nostalgic retrospect of the creation of Lagos State. The event was rounded up with an electrifying performance by Nigerian singer, popularly known as Mr. Easy. <laughs> The Thanksgiving service that brought the celebration of 50 years of the creation of Lagos State and the second anniversary of the Akiumi Ambode administration to a glorious end took place at the government house in Kaja, Lagos on Sunday 28th of May 2017. The service was attended by Governor Akiumi Ambode and his wife, the First Lady, Mrs. Bolanli Ambode, and top officials of Lagos State Government in the legislature the judiciary and the executive. There are also friends of Lagos State and other clergymen from the different Christian denominations. Those in attendance included the wife of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Worldwide, Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboi. There's also Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, Senior Pastor of KICC. The service was full of soul-lifting praise worship songs, which the choir and the congregation sang heartily. The first Bible reading was taken by the wife of the governor, Mrs. Bolanle Ambody, from Psalm chapter 21, from verses 1 to 13. Reverend Dr. Omiremi read another portion from the scriptures. The service also featured hymnal singing, which the entire congregation partook in from time to time. Reverend Canon Binga Solomon read another portion from the Holy Bible, this time for the New Testament, St. Paul. Chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. The service featured a pastoral prayer session, and these involved special prayers for God's blessing on Lagos State over the years, while asking for more in future. Reverend Adebala Jofaitumi and other men of God from different Christian denominations, including the chairman of the Lagos State Chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Pastor Alexander Bangbala, also took part in special prayers to remember two years of the Ambody administration and the 50 years of Lagos State. BJ Sachs was on the saxophone to nurt people on to the special Thanksgiving session with lots of singing and dancing. <laughs>
sermon was preached by Pastor Matthew Ashimalo, Senior Pastor of KICC. The title of his sermon, taken from Philippines chapter 3 verse 14, was Pressing into a Greater Future. However, before he began his sermon, Pastor Ashimalo released 50 special prayer points to Lagos State as she celebrates 50. Pastor Ashimalo prayed that there will be more prosperity for Lagos State henceforth. There will be uncommon fulfillment of dreams, enviable progress, divine visitation, and common new ideas. Pastor Ashimalo prayed further that the sound of thanksgiving will never cease in the homes of everyone in Lagos State. He prayed that Lagos State will soon be announced globally for all the groundbreaking reasons. Pastor Matthew Ashimalo praised Governor Kumi Ambody for his governance strides in opening up the rural areas of Lagos. He asked him not to let up because there's still much work to do. Pastor Matthew Ashimalo prayed for everyone to be able to finish well in whatever endeavor they set out to embark on. Another session of the praise and worship ensued as the governor and his wife were joined by a long lineup of worshippers in the congregation. At the end of this, the special prayer session for Lagos State at 50. The service featured more singing and dancing session as different gospel artists took to the stage as well as soloists. Ageless veteran gospel artist Fumi Aragbaye was also there. The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, led by its chairman, Pastor Alexander Bangbala, made a special presentation of books to the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kiumi Ambody. The vote of thanks was given by Honorable Kende Joseph, Governor Ambody's special advisor on civic engagement and chairman of the subcommittee on the Thanksgiving service for Lagos at 50. The anniversary cake cutting exercise was conducted by Pastor Rachel Odeshola. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. You know, with all modesty, we can say that there's been a lot of progress made in Lagos. And you can see a clear example of progressive governance in this state in the last 18 years. And so what could be our wish to see that the next 50 years, Lagos becomes that smart city that any one of us will be very proud of globally. And that's, that's the whole thing that we have come here to do this Thanksgiving, to say that, yes, we are grateful, but again, we can be more blessed than what we are today. 